so we are on the way of uh, discussing magnetic field and uh, preparation to that we discussed currents electric currents especially electric current densities the volume current density surface current density and then uh, we talked about uh, divergence of j an equation of continuity we also saw that magnetic field is essentially an uh, relativistic phenomena length contraction plays a good role a uh, current carrying wire which is neutral in one frame electrically neutral in one frame may be charged in other frame and uh, that uh, gives rise to the fact that there has to be a magnetic field all those things we did now let us do some problems so that uh, these concepts that we have developed some of the concepts especially the current densities and uh, the current distributions because that will be extensively used when we will be doing magnetic field due to different current distributions so today we will solve some problems on uh, these concepts and then we will go ahead with the course so the problems are uh, from uh, this my book uh, classical electromagnetism bharti bhavan and uh, this electric current is uh, in chapter 10 and from there i am writing some problems so the first one is uh, qualitative which of the following are examples of steady currents which of the following are examples of steady current now what is the steady current steady current as we discussed if the current does not change with time the current at a particular point at all points in the space so if the current at any given point is not changing with time then we call it steady current so the things are uh, the first one is a ring of radius r capital r having a uniform linear charge density lambda not rotating about its axis with a constant angular velocity omega so you have a ring you have a ring and then this is the axis of the ring and this ring is uniformly charged uniform linear charge density lambda not you know this linear charge density linear charge density means charge per unit length if the charges are existing along a line then you take some dl and then see how much is the charge then divide that is called linear charge density and it is uniform linear charge density that means the same everywhere you take this dl here or you take this dl here is the same and that uh, is lambda not and it is rotating about its axis with a constant angular velocity omega okay so since the charges are moving so the charges are moving on the circular path there is a current and uh, at the site of that circle that ring you have charges and therefore you have current if you are somewhere else not on the ring then there is no charge there is no current so at places at places i is zero current is zero and at places i is not zero but then if it is moving with a uniform uh, angular velocity omega about its axis then uh, outside is always outside inside is always inside on the ring is always on the ring and therefore if it is zero it's it's zero all the time if it is not zero it's not zero all the time and the magnitude is also fixed lambda times v for a linear charge distribution moving in a line the current is lambda times v 
and lambda is given fixed lambda naught v will be omega times the radius. So, that is also fixed and therefore, the current does not change with time and this is a steady current. Then the next one is uh, a ring of radius capital R with a uniform linear charge density lambda naught rotating about one of the diameters with a constant angular velocity omega. So, the same situation, but now it is rotating about a diameter that means, it is rotating not about its axis, but a diameter. So, if you draw the ring this way, here is the diameter, here is the diameter and it is rotating about this. Now, you can see the uniform charge density is there lambda naught, the angular velocity is also uniform, but at this instant where are the currents located? Currents are located here, where you have charge only there you can have current in dq dt and therefore, the charge the currents are here outside the board at this instant current is 0, then uh, on the other side of the board. 0 current is 0 and current is only here. What happens after some time? This ring rotates, this ring rotates part of it comes out of the board and part of goes on the other side of the board and therefore, at this instant the charges are here the current is here, but uh, at a later instant current here becomes 0 on the board it becomes 0 and then this uh, part comes here. So, the current is here, there was no current here, but now it is current here. So, it is not a steady current, the current depends on time. So, the axis of rotation had uh, played a great role. See a ring of radius capital R having a non uniform linear charge density lambda which is a function of phi rotating about its axis with a constant angular velocity omega. So, it is this situation, it is this situation, but then this uh, lambda is not constant, it is a function of phi. When I am writing phi, I am using that cylindrical polar coordinate s comma phi comma z, this is our z axis, you can take some line as the x axis and in the x y plane, this angle is phi. So, this lambda depends on phi, lambda is different here, lambda is different here, lambda is different here, lambda is different here. So, if I look at this point let us say here, there is some lambda right which depends on this angle. Now, what happens? Now, what happens? The ring rotates about this axis. So, the placing is is all right, it, it remains at its own place, it is rotating, but then this portion will come here this portion which is now here after some time it comes here and if the charge densities are different here and here the charge densities are different and the current is this lambda v current is this lambda v and v is same v is omega times r but this lambda is different here and different here so if i am looking at this point at this instant lambda is different and then later when this part comes here lambda is different so, if lambda is different, current also is different and therefore, current depends on time and it is not a steady current. So, that is how you have to check because uh, it is uh, only the steady currents which will give you the equations for magnetostatics. Now, another question is a metallic sheet of thickness T has a constant dense has a current density capital I. So, you have a metallic sheet a metallic sheet of thickness T small t has a current density J has a current density j if we neglect the thickness and treat the sheet as a surface 
the current has to be considered as a surface current. What will be the corresponding surface current density? So, you have this metal sheet, uh, let us say this is your metal sheet, this is the thickness, this is the thickness, okay. this is the thickness, it is a metal sheet like this, this is a let us say this is a this is a sheet, this is a sheet of course, this thickness is quite large. So, there is a current density volume current density J that means, inside the sheet somewhere you take some small volume element d tau and see how much is uh, uh, the current there. So, you make a cross section and then uh, small cross section then see how much charge is going from this side to that side divide by that area and get that j. So, it is like that. So, if I take uh, let us say a, a cross section somewhere here a cross section like this this is the thickness and then I do not know how to draw. So, what I am doing I am taking some cross section here, I am just taking some cross section here. So, how much is the current, how much current is going from this side to that side? So, that will be j into that area of cross section that I have taken. Okay. So, j into area of cross section. So, if I say that this, uh, this length is let us say a small a and this thickness is t ok. This length is small a and this thickness is t then if I take the cross section the area of that cross section will be this a into that t and charges will cross this cross section from one side to the other side. So, the area of cross section here is A into T and the current density is J and therefore, the current is, is J into A into T. So, that is the current which is crossing this cross section. So, this, this much is current, this much is the current which is crossing this cross section. Now, if I neglect this thickness t, this t is very small and I treat this whole thing just as a surface. Then whatever was going through that cross section is now going through this line, okay, this line a length a thickness t that, that made the cross section and the charges were crossing. Now, I am saying that okay, thickness is very small and I treat it just as a surface. So, that whole charge which is going from this side to that side crossing that cross section. Now, we will treat it as if it is going through this line and therefore, you get surface current density and surface current density uh, is uh, by definition the surface current density is by definition the current crossing this line divided by the length of the line. Remember that? remember that that k how do we define k k is the current which is crossing that length delta l so that is the surface current and here this is the current and that is crossing this length a small a because t we are just uh, squeezing it and therefore this will be j into a into t this is the current and then divided by the length length is a so, it is j times t. So, k is j times t. If the volume current is, uh, is j and I treat the thickness very small and consider is it as a surface current, we will describe it in terms of surface current density and that will have this relation with volume current density. This is k is j times t. Now, next question is a current flows in a straight cylindrical wire, so that an electric field E is maintained in the wire. Now, the next question is an isolated radioactive source, an isolated radioactive 
सोर्स सोडियम ट्वेंटी टू सोडियम ट्वेंटी टू इज केप्ट एट द ओरिजिन इज केप्ट एट द ओरिजिन is kept at the origin and emits positrons isotropically and it emits positron isotropically isotropically at a rate of 10 power 7 particles per second at a rate of 10 to the power 7 particles per second so that's the rate and uh, consider a spherical surface with the center at the origin consider a spherical surface with the center at the origin at the origin uh, and radius 10 cm and radius 10 cm and now the question is find the current density through the surface find the current density through the surface find the current density through the surface so what is all this you have a radioactive source sodium 22 sodium in general has uh, uh, this uh, total number mass number as 23 11 protons and 12 neutrons but if you make sodium 22 then it decays then it decays sodium 22 sodium 22 means 11 protons and and 11 neutrons in general you have 12 neutrons and 11 uh, protons that's the most stable isotope but if you make this the, the number of neutrons is less and number of protons is more in that sense from the stability uh, this is uh, this should have been 12 so this is less and therefore one proton will convert itself into a neutron and this will become what this will become 10 here and 12 here and what is this 10 this is neon okay so sodium will convert to neon that is called beta plus decay because a proton has converted a proton has converted into neutron and therefore charge for charge conservation you have positive charge here you have neutral here you should have a positive charge and therefore a positron is emitted and of course some neutrino that is another thing so this is the condition when you put this radioactive source sodium 22 it will keep on emitting these positrons this is called positron the charge is plus e electron is same as the charge on the electron but with positive sign and mass is same as the mass of the electron this is positron so uh, is kept at the origin and it emits positron isotropically now isotropically means it is emitting uh, in all directions that emission is same so it is emitting in all directions 
with equal uh, number of particles in this direction, that direction, that direction, that direction, that is isotropically at the rate of 10 power 7 particles per second. Now, consider a spherical surface with the center at the origin and radius 10 centimeter. So, radius 10 centimeter and here is that positron source sodium 22 which is emitting positron in all directions and then you have to find the current density through the surface. How much current is going? How much current is going through this surface per unit time? Right? These positrons are going this way. So, per unit time per unit time means per second. How many positrons? Number of positrons will be 10 to the power 7. Number of positrons times 1.6 into 10 power what minus 19 coulomb. So, this much charge is going per second. So, this is the current, this is the total current and then it is going through that uh, 4 pi r square. So, you can divide and get how much is the charge the current density here. So, you have taken a surface and then from that surface charges are crossing and you are asking what is the, the density the current density there. So, this is how you can get it. Now, the next one is a long thin cylindrical pipe, a long thin cylindrical pipe, a long thin cylindrical pipe of radius capital R carries a current I, of radius capital R carrying a current I current I going along its length. Okay. The current is uniformly distributed along the surface of the pipe. The current is uniformly distributed uniformly distributed along the surface of the pipe Take the z axis along the axis of the pipe in the direction of the current. Take the z axis along the axis of the pipe in the direction of the current in the direction of the current. What is the expression for the surface current? What is the expression? for the surface current density. Okay, so, what is the question? It says a long thin cylindrical pipe of radius capital R. So, you have a thin uh, long 
cylindrical pipe of radius r you can take this as a pipe this as a pipe a hollow inside and then uh, radius is capital r and it carries a current capital i going along its length it's a pipe so inside is just hollow so the current is going on the surface so current i going along its length along its length like this the current is going like this the total current is i and then it is distributed along the surface pipe uniformly and all that z axis is here and then we have to find the expression for the surface current density so the surface current density is current crossing a given length divided by that length you have a surface you have a surface on the surface you draw a line on the surface you draw a line and then see that uh, how much is the current through that line how much charge is crossing that line from one side to the other side per unit time that is the current divided by the length of the line that is surface current density so here here if the total current is i here so i can take any periphery on this on this on this pipe take any periphery on this pipe so the current is going from this side to that side and it is crossing this periphery what is the length of the periphery 2 pi into capital r and total current is i so the current crossing per unit length current crossing the line and then divided by length of the line so simple capital i by 2 pi r k is equal to capital i divided by 2 pi r and then what is the direction it is the direction of current in the direction of current and uh, everywhere the current is in the same direction z direction and therefore no doubt it is k cap total is k cap now the next one is a sphere of radius r a sphere of radius r carries a charge capital q uniformly distributed on its surface carries a charge q distributed uniformly on its surface okay if the sphere rotates with an angular velocity omega if the sphere rotates with an angular velocity omega about the z axis which is taken along one of the diameters about the z axis which is taken along one of its diameters what is the current density everywhere what is the current density everywhere so that's the question so you have a sphere a sphere of radius capital r carries a charge capital q distributed uniformly on its surface so you have a sphere 
and on the surface of this sphere that 4 pi capital R square area a total charge Q is distributed uniformly. Then this is rotating about one of its diameter which is taken as the z axis. Now, there is a z axis here is the center and it is rotating with a uniform angular velocity omega about the z axis which is taken along one of the its diameters. So, that is the situation and you have to find current density everywhere. So, current density is only on the surface of this sphere because the charges are only on the surface of the sphere. So, take any point on the surface remember it is a surface half the sphere is outside the board and half the sphere is inside on the other side of the board. So, I am taking this uh, small portion of the surface area somewhere on the surface. So, here here how is the charge moving how is the charge moving this charge is going in a circular path right. So, the whole sphere is rotating about the z axis. So, every particle is going on a if you take that z axis as vertical then every point is going on a horizontal circle of different radii of different radii. If the particle is right here like equator of the earth then uh, the circle is this the radius is capital R this is the radius capital R. But if the particle is not here it is here it is going on this circle it is going on this circle then the radius is small and how much is that radius if you use spherical polar coordinates and here is let us say your point or here is your point then this is this angle is known as theta this angle is known as theta from the z axis ok. And this theta is same you take the point here here, 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 here. Uh, imagine this is the circle take any point join to the center and see the angle with the z axis is the same it is making a cone. So, this angle is theta and therefore, this radius of the circle radius of the circle is r sin theta. And what is the direction in which this charge is moving? That is phi cap direction. In spherical polar coordinates, in spherical polar coordinates, the if you take some point, drop a perpendicular, then join here, and with the x axis, the angle is phi. And this is like this, this perpendicular, I am drawing perpendicular. So, you have this plane, this plane is making angle phi with that x z plane, all right. So, when phi is changed, what happens? This point goes along that circle. So, at one point, it will be phi equal to 0, which is just uh, above the x axis, phi is 0. And then, as you rotate it uh, in that horizontal plane, phi changes from 0 to 2 pi and therefore, the direction in which phi increases that is called unit vector phi cap. So, this velocity is in the direction of phi cap here phi cap is like this tangent here here phi cap is this tangent here it 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 is this tangent all these are phi cap directions they are different directions the phi cap here is not the same as phi cap there hmm? in uh, Cartesian i cap j cap k cap they do not change directions wherever you take your point, but spherical polar coordinates yes. So, the velocity it is is omega times the radius which is r sin theta right v equal to omega your formula is v equal to omega r this is the radius of the circle here is the radius of the circle and oh, angular velocity multiply you get the linear velocity v and in what direction in phi cap direction in phi cap direction. So, what is the surface current density 
the surface current density is sigma v and therefore it is sigma omega r sin theta and phi cap j volume current density is rho times v the charge density volume charge density per unit volume how much is the charge that is rho and then you get volume current density and if you have surface charge density sigma and then the velocity is v then you get surface current density k is sigma times v and v is this so it is this and hence this is q by 4 pi capital r square that is sigma omega r sin theta and then phi cap 1 r you can cancel and that is your answer the current density at the surface of the sphere is this much q omega sin theta divided by 4 pi capital r and then phi cap this theta is uh, is variable which point dif at different points you have different current densities this theta is variable magnitude direction also changes phi cap tangent to that velocity so that is the current density